Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports and I'm just wanting to bring you another CA Cricket Bat review. Today we're going to look at the Plus 8000 Cricket Bat. So we've got two of these available and they're listed up on the website. So if you want to take a closer look on our website, you just simply click the link in the description. And we do get a lot of people asking, oh where can I buy this bat from, how much is this bat? If you just simply click the link in the description if you're not going to watch all the video, and it'll take you to our website and you can have a look at pictures, weights and measurements on there as well and uh, you can purchase the bat via the website. Um, so we're going to start off with cricket bat number one. So you're getting lovely grains on this one. You're looking around about 20 straight even grains. Fair chunk of heartwood. But yeah, not a bad looking bat at all. Though. So if you're someone who likes a bit of heartwood then this is a good option. Edge size wise you're looking at a 42mm edge and a 66mm spine. So it's a big bat. And if you have a look down that spine there, there's a fair amount of concave and I would say it's medium concave. So yeah, there's quite a bit of wood taken now. And if you have a look at that bow, it's quite, quite a decent bow on this one, going down towards the toe. Face again is flat, so the fully knocked in sticker, don't pay any attention to that. These bats will need uh, fully preparing, so you'll need to oil it, knock it in, and with the heartwood, would recommend giving two to three light coats of oil on the heartwood um, just to soften it up a little bit so it doesn't crack when you're knocking the bat in. So just bear that in mind, the heartwood needs a little bit more care and attention when knocking the bat in. And you'll probably need a couple of hours of knocking in. Uh, these edges will need rounding as well. So you've got the CA barcode sticker, scratch that off, you can put that into the CA website and it'll tell you this is a genuine uh, CA product. Uh, these stickers are all the same as last year, all textured and embossed, colour schemes are the same as well. You've got a nice medium thick semi oval handle taper into a round. You've got that nice CA shape with the mid middle position, spine into the toe and up into the handle. Just extends that sweet spot all the way along the blade. And even though you are getting a fair amount of concaving, because these edges are so big, you're still getting plenty of wood for those off centre shots as well. So you're still going to get good ping. Uh, towards the edge of the bat. So if you're someone who edges the ball a lot then with 42mm edges they're going to fly to the boundary. So this bat says £2.8 on the sticker and the actual weight on the scales is 213.4. So for those people who go by the stickered weight, so if you pick up a bat from CA and you're saying oh I want a 2.7 or 2.8, just bear in mind that those weights are never accurate and they could be out by 3 to 4 ounces and in this case nearly 5.5 ounce difference in weight. So it's always a good idea to weigh the bat to get an actual understanding of what weight you're actually using, especially if you're going to be purchasing a bat online and you're not able to pick them up yourself. So you can get some cheap kitchen scales, probably cost you around about £10 and you can weigh your bat and it's a good thing to have so you can weigh all your bats and just get an idea of what weights you're using um, and obviously it'll give you a better idea when you come to purchase a bat, especially if you're not going to be picking it up in person and you're going to be purchasing it online. So that's something to bear in mind when purchasing any Pakistani cricket bat. The sticker weights are never correct. So we'll go on to the balance and the pickup. So yeah, it is a big heavy bat and you know when you pick it up that you've got a fair chunk of wood in your hands. Um, but it does pick up a little bit lighter than what you think. Because this one, 213.4. It probably feels maybe 211, 212, but yeah, it comes through nice in the shots. You can feel the weight when you're at the top of the back lift, but when you're driving, it comes through nice and light. Um, but again, you can feel the weight up high as well. Um, but like I say, this is going to be ideal for someone who's a big, strong player. So if you're familiar with CA Cricket Bats, you'll know that the blade is slightly shorter by about 10 millimeters. Um, but if you're someone who's wanting to try out the CA Cricket Bat for the first time then it's something to bear in mind that they are a slightly shorter blade and if you are on the taller side, say 6 foot plus, then you may want to consider getting maybe a longer blade or a longer handle. We can get them custom made, it does take a little bit longer, probably 4-6 to six weeks from when we place the order to actually receive the bat. But it's something we can get done for you, especially if you want to try a CA bat out. So normally between 5.7 and 5.11 the CA bats are normally a really good fit. Uh, but above 6 foot then you may struggle slightly. So we'll just see how it pings with the Reader Sovereign Cricket Ball. So yeah, it 
pings really well, but you would expect that with the bat this way. It's got so much wood in it, and it's got a lot of force behind the ball, but it does really rock it off. Uh, the hardwood, normally when you've got a lot of hardwood, it feels a little bit firmer, but this one feels quite nice. It's quite responsive, um, so yeah, it pings really well. So like I say, if you're someone who's looking for a slightly heavier bat, and if you just have a look at that shape there, the spine's not going sharply into the toe. It's similar to the Big Bang Marlon Samuels bat, where the spine is rounded off into the toe, giving it more of a, a duck bill toe, if you see there. So that's something different, so that's something they've done with the shaping. Maybe it's just to help reduce the weight slightly because this cleft's coming in a little bit heavier than some of the others. But yeah, the performance is excellent. So if you're someone who's looking for a CA cricket bat and you prefer using maybe a medium to heavy cricket bat, then I would take a look at the CA Plus 8000. This is a really good cricket bat and a really good affordable option as well. Uh, so that's cricket bat number one. Moving on to cricket bat number two. And again, this one's a nice looking bat. You're getting nice grains, you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 grains. So yeah, nice looking bat. Just a tiny little bit of hardwood there. Left end is outside edge. This one you're getting a 43mm edge and a 66mm spine, so another big cricket bat. And again, you're looking at a medium concave, there's a fair bit of wood taken out. And again, you're getting that spine rounded off into the toe. I've not seen that with CA very often. I saw it on the Marlon Samuels bats, and I've seen it on these two bats now. So that's something different. And it kind of gives it more of a, a duck billy toe. And if you have a look there, gentle bow down towards the toe. Face is flat, barcode sticker, scratch off print to the website. Fully knocked in sticker, completely ignore that. So £2.8 ounce sticker, ignore that as well. This one's coming in at 212.4 ounce. Um, handle shape, medium thick semi oval, taper into a round. And you're getting your standard set up with your five cork inserts again. We're going to the balance of the pickup. So yeah, this one picks up really nice. Feels nice in the hands. I would say to me this probably feels 210.5, 211. So a nice balanced pickup, really good feel. And we'll just see how it performs with the Reese Sovereign Cricket Ball. Slightly firmer feel, but a really nice response. Really does go. Yeah, feels really good. Really responsive, really springy. Even up high, the ping up high is really good. So that's where the fully knocked in sticker is. Goes really nice up high, really good response all the way across the blade, so a really nice long hitting area. Uh, so that's cricket bat number two. You do get a free uh, bat cover, free with the bat. So these cricket bats are selling for £149.99, so a really good value for money, and you're getting a good quality cricket bat. Um, so yeah, we'll take a close look at these if you're looking to pick up a CA cricket bat and you're not wanting to spend too much money, then these are a really good option. And like I say, on these ones, you're getting some really nice grains as well. Uh, but they are coming in probably a medium to heavy weight, so that's something to think about. Uh, so thank you for watching guys, if you've liked it please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do subscribe to the channel, we'll be bringing you plenty more video reviews over the next few days. So until next time, I'll speak to you all soon, bye bye.